Hello everyone and welcome to Little Sprout Storytime here at Clark County Post Library. It's me once again, Ms. Alyssa, and thanks for joining us today. So, um, today if you would lend me your ears, um, we are going to be talking about farms today. Um, pretty much the backbone of communities and the world because everyone likes eating food, right? And where do we get it? From farms! As you can see, we've got our tractor today to help us with this. All right, so I've got a couple stories for you today, and I'm sure they're gonna be a real hoot. <laughs> okay, um, and these are being read with permission of Simon and & Schuster and An Athenaeum Books, which is also an imprint of Simon & Schuster. All right, so our first story today is called Hack a Doodle Dubop by Michael Ian Black and drawn by Matt Myers, published by Simon & Schuster. Hack a Doodle Dubop? Is that the sound that a rooster usually makes? Mm. I don't think so. Hack a Doodle Dubop by Michael Ian Black and drawn by Matt Myers. Do wop bop biddly do wop bop wop bop 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 uh-oh hello hey man what happened to cockadoodle do yeah man i just wasn't feeling cockadoodle do you dig but the sun won't come up without a cockadoodle do Moo. Hey man, how you feeling? To be honest, Mel, I'm a little upset. What happened to Cockadoodle Doo? I've been doing the same old number every morning for years. Don't you guys want to hear something new? No. I'm concerned the sun won't rise without it. That's what I said. Well, how about this? Bada scoopa bada biggity woo woo. Diggity doo wop scoob diggity da bop. Can you hear that cricket's chirping? Cockadoodle doo is a classic. It's how the sun knows when it's time to wake up. Without cockadoodle doo, it might never be morning. Hmm. Maybe the sun will dig a little trumpet solo. We can have everyone but the sun. Where's the sun? What happened to Cockadoodle Doo? What is going on? I know just what the sun needs. Something a little more now, you dig? Think this is gonna work? Creativity, but some things are perfect just the way they are. Like eggs and bacon. Please don't talk about eggs, man. Please don't talk about bacon. Sorry, everybody, but my heart just isn't with the whole cockadoodle do thing. I got to spread my wings. But without it, the sun will never wake up. Hmm. I've got an idea. <laughs> he said, hey. Oh. What are you doing? Calcadoodle moo! Ding! Yay! Uh, now we night owls can finally get some shut eye. You said it, baby. The end. Well, 
Well, that wasn't too foul of a tale. Um, maybe this one will ruffle your feathers a bit better. Um, so this is Thump Quack Moo, A Wacky Adventure by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lewin. Published by Simon & Schuster. Have you ever heard the book Click Clack Moo? This is by the same person. Thump Quack Moo, A Wacky Adventure by Dorian Cronin and Betsy Lewin. It's almost time for the annual Corn Maze Festival. Father Brown is very excited. This year, he is making a Statue of Liberty corn maze. Ooh, amazing. He is going to need help to get everything ready on time. The chickens do not want to help. I'll let you use hammers, said Farmer Brown. The chickens are now building the fence around the cornfield. Cluck, whack, cluck, whack, cluck, whack. The chickens are excited. The cows do not want help. I'll let you use my paintbrushes, said Farmer Brown. The cows are now giving the barn a fresh coat of paint. Moo thwack, moo thwack, moo thwack. The cows are excited. Duck never wants to help. No help, said Farmer Brown to Duck. No more special order organic duck feed. Duck is now building the ticket booth for the hot air balloon ride. Thump quack, thump quack, thump quack. Duck is still not excited. The mice are taking a correspondence course on meteorology and are too busy to lend a hand. Partly sunny, humidity 60%. The air is filled with the busy sounds of the farm. Cluck whack, moo thwack. Thump quack! The mice keep an eye on the weather. Increasing clouds. Farmer Brown is busy too. Every day he gets out his sketchbook, graph paper, art supplies, and mower. He sketches a little, measures a little, counts a little, and cuts. Farmer Brown wants it perfect. Every night, Duck sneaks into the cornfield. He brings a sketchbook, graph paper, art supplies, and hedge clippers. He also brings his night vision goggles and glow-in-the-dark ruler. Then he sketches a little, measures a little, counts a little, and cuts. He is a little excited now. Let's see, Duck, what is Duck doing? The preparations continue day after day. Cluck whack, moo whack, thump quack. The mice keep an eye on the weather. It is the day before the annual corn maze festival. For the last time, Farmer Brown gets out his sketchbook, graph paper, art supplies, and mower. He sketches a little, measures a little, counts a little, and cuts. The Statue of Liberty corn maze is finished. He's too excited to sleep. Duck sneaks into the cornfield for the last time. He brings a sketchbook, graph paper, art supplies, and hedge clippers. He also brings his night vision goggles and glow-in-the-dark ruler. Then he sketches a little, measures a little, counts a little, and cuts. He is too excited to sleep. Ooh. It is time for the Corn Maze Festival opening ceremony. The chickens are not allowed to use the hammers anymore. Uh-oh. The barn is not quite what Farmer Brown had in mind. The 
ticket booth has a slight design flaw. But all Farmer Brown cares about is the corn maze. He pays $5 and hops into the hot air balloon. At last, he will see his masterpiece from above. Calm before the storm. Duck also pays $5 and hops into the hot air balloon. At last, he will see his masterpiece from above. What? What's the maze look like? Well, it's a statularity, but it's a bit different than how we think of it, usually. Duck is really excited now. Geronimo! Partly cloudy, chance of duck. The end. Alright, so for our song today, uh, we're going to do some of the good old classic Old McDonald's. Uh, and we're going to do cows, chickens, and pigs. All right? So think about what sounds those animals make. All right, ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. What sound does a cow make? <gasps> With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there. Here moo, there moo, everywhere moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O. What did they make? <gasps> With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here cluck, there cluck, everywhere cluck cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. All right, one more time. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O. With a oink oink here and a oink oink there. Here oink, there oink, everywhere oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Yay! All right, one more thing for y'all today. Um, I have a way for you to make a game. Now, I made this out of construction paper um, and regular paper. Um, you could also maybe find a picture of some corn um, and then draw the numbers on it. It's supposed to be an addition game. Um, using like two six by a die, um, you can have your kids, um, you kids can practice adding them together and putting um, beads or some other sort of marker on whatever number they add up to. Um, if you just want to practice counting maybe one through six, or if you have a dice that has more than six sides, um, you can just put the, whatever numbers are on your dice to identify your numbers on it as well. And it's corn because you always want more corn, right? All right. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye!